I'm in Dallas, yay! I'm so excited. Um, as If you saw last week's video, which is actually not uploading because <gasps> technology just likes to test me and like really, I don't understand. I did everything. I uploaded everything and then I left for the airport and then I thought, oh, after I get off the airport, like out of my plane, I'll like just quickly post it and upload it and not worry about it the whole weekend. But it's at 4% for the last like seven hours. So I'm just pretty much banking on the fact that it's not uploaded by now. Um, so it's probably uploaded on Monday when I got back from Dallas. So sorry about that. Um, what can you do, you know? So here I am in Dallas now. We are actually gonna go to the half and half. It is about a 20 minute drive. So we're gonna go over there for a couple hours or like less than because I'm staying at my friend Caroline. She's my old roommate from college and she likes shopping, but not like for long periods of time. So we're just kind of going to give it a cheer. Hopefully we find some stuff and um, I'm super excited to be here and I will take you guys along with us. If you haven't seen my video from Kansas City, there's a half and half there as well, which I always find so many things like lovers and friends, you know, revolve clothes, TNA. I'm hoping Dallas is the same, but I feel like it'll have a little bit more like bulk and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens, but um, we're gonna head that way. And yeah, I'm really excited. I hope I find some stuff. I kind of like my dress that I bought for my birthday, but I'm not totally in love with it. So I think we're gonna hopefully look for one of those and then I'm just hoping that it's there, you know what I mean? So anyway, we're gonna head that way, and yay! Okay, let's go shopping, woo! <laughs> Oh my god, it's literally blinking. Wait, and that's the rest of the weekend? <laughs> no, I, I have another one like fully ready and I just didn't fucking bring it. Why is it blurry? I'm a dumb bitch. This is like America. Huh? Haha. <laughs> Okay, guys, so how I start it's about out to do is I go around and I think I don't want anything. So then I go to the bar. <laughs> Ooh, go Broncos. Boo. I found something for her. What does it say? Pop that bubbly. Pop that bubbly. <laughs> what do you guys think? Give you this. Mmm. Do we twin? <laughs> <laughs> we all get it. Birthday Girls weekend. weekend. <laughs> Everybody matches. Pop that bubble. Pop it. This is about to die, so I'm about to go on my phone. I'm just what? warning you. Oh, New this York. This is for Mallory. <laughs> she lives in New York. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> <laughs> okay friends so i'm a little disappointed with the selection at this half and half to be honest usually my cart is super full but i'll show you what i did find i'm not sure if i'm gonna buy it yet i don't know if i was just like might as well buy it i don't know i did find this bodysuit but these never freaking fit me but it's pretty cute Oh, the zipper's broken. Well, that does it for me. And then this top is pretty cute. I really like the ruffles here. And then they also have it on the sleeve. I think this would be really cute. Um, I'm not sure. So that's maybe. And then I think this is pretty cute. It has a puff sleeve. It's 
blue which i never really gravitate towards but i could see myself wearing this in the springtime so i can go get that and then i found this little beanie which i don't love the fact that it says this on it but i think i'll just take that off and then wear it like this and then i also found this sweater but it's bcbg i really like how it has the fringe but i'm not sure if it's the right silhouette for me it feels a little outdated um I don't know how much is it Ugh. it is half off of 30 15 i just no nah, i don't think i'd wear it so and then caroline is gonna get this little top free people really cute and as well as this oh shit <laughs> sorry this puff sleeve sweater so yeah i hope we have time to go to another thrift store if not then sorry about this video i probably will just add in a bunch of birthday stuff i don't really know mm, i'm sad Yay. look at the icicles oh my god we're literally in dallas and there's icicles it's cute but it has wool in it i don't know i can't decide i'm allergic to wool oh. That's so cute. What's this? Yeah. For tomorrow? Yeah. That Wait, would look really good. I think so. Probably and it's then, Dallas. Like, I think this is cute. <laughs> That's cute. I don't love it though. You like this? No. It's a little mm. about like that. This. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want it. I can go try on. <laughs> How about that? Cute but kinda eh. Like outdated. So cute, Carol. Look at you thrifting. Okay, so I found these little love earrings. I think they'd be so great. My H&M ones that I bought didn't come in, mm -hmm. and they were a little bit more expensive than this anyway. So I think I'm gonna get those. And then, I think this is cute for work. If I go back one day. What do you think? I like it. And then, this dress. That's cute. I think this is very me. I think that's better. I like this, but I don't know. I think that is like, cutie. Yeah, and then there's this Vintage Express one, which I think would be really cute. Mm -hmm. so I think you should try that on, maybe. Yeah. And then I like yellow. I, I like be cute. This, but maybe you don't. I don't think that's for you. I don't think it. And this is cute. Mm -hmm. It's very in the button down. Situation. Right. And then cute. Cute, right? Looks kind of big. Yeah. But it's cute. Okay. And then this just like workout top. Cute. So easy. I have to get that. Oh wow. That's cute. I mean, that's very cute. Okay. And then this is so cute. I like that. Oh my god, I'm getting too much. <laughs> it's kind of like that's kind of big. Do I kind of need it? Not really. I say no. I do like this. That's cool. It's very trendy. I think I Nick's like those. I don't need these because it's like, no. It's the summer is coming. Woo! We did good. Caroline got some things. My first time. Maybe my last. <laughs> no, you said you liked it. Yeah. You told the lady, I'll be back. <laughs> She's like, I'll see you soon. All right. No, well, it was good. Mallory is a good guide. She told me how, how it's going, you know. Mm -hmm. She led me in the right way. I picked out some things she hated. And I was like, ah, like, out of style. Oh, no. Eh, no. That's all right. It's all good. No, it's a good experience. I'm all for trying new things, you yeah? know? Right. So now it is time to get a beverage. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and just wait until I get back in New York to style and try on all my outfits that I got. I can't wait to show you what I got. So freaking cute. 
Really glad we decided to come to Buffalo Exchange. They have one in New York, so I knew it was gonna be good. It's more of a curated selection, so unfortunately I spent a little bit of money, but we're over it, and we're just, whatever. You know, less shopping to do in the spring, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right guys, I'll see you guys in New York. Time to hey. party. Ooh. All right, friends, so I'm back in New York City. Luckily, I was able to get out of the storm in Dallas, Texas. It was insane. Um, I'm sure you've seen all the TikToks and news articles and everything. Basically, the entire city was shut down. Nothing was open. There were no lifts or Ubers. People's buildings were losing power. People were without water, without food. So if you are able to um, donate, I'm just gonna pop a little thing here. Um, it may not be even the time to donate, but I just gave like a $25 to that charity so that they were able to give some water bottles to like the homeless and help people get food because literally Dallas has never seen one degree weather. Like it was so cold there. Nothing was open. It was, we couldn't even get food. We ate frozen pizzas for literally two days. Like it was, you know, crazy, but I'm really lucky that I got out and I just wanted to, um, say that I had a really, really good time. So next week i'm gonna be posting my vlog about my birthday i always do a birthday vlog every year and i just um we had a lot of fun until the snow hit so you'll see a little bit more about how things were while i was there at the end but for now i'm just gonna show off my outfits that i got while i was thrifting we went to half and half and then we also went to Buffalo Exchange where I got the majority of things. I will say I was a little disappointed in the half and half in Dallas. I was expecting like a lot of stuff, but turns out the Kansas City location has a lot more. So um, anyway, this is the first thing that I got. So let's see. I'm filming in here today because my apartment's a disaster. Boop, boop, boop. Hey. Okay. So I got this like really cute sort of t-shirt dress with um little ruffles on the bottom i don't know if you can see but it's really cute i feel like i could wear this to work with my little book here mules and i could go to the office in this and i think i would look really professional and cute and i would just wear you know my hair probably up in a low bun honestly but this i i really think is really cute and a good find okay so i found this super lovely little ditzy print um, midi dress which I think is just so cute and it reminds me so much of like a 90s movie or something like that where they go to the weddings and you know what I mean like 27 dresses or something but it's unfortunately just a little bit too big on me um I think this would look really really good on someone who's maybe more of a size medium the back is just a little big but it was $13 and I think I'll just resell it for like 20 um but I just put it with these cutie little 90s looking sandals and i think it looks pretty fabulous i might wear like chunky jewelry with it or something but um i think it's a good purchase i just wish i could try things on at the store you know but whatever i'll just sell it okay so this one i got um as well and it was 13 dollars as well and it's a forever 21 dress but i think it is literally so freaking cute like look at this this is me so excited for the summertime and I just really want to go on vacation and wear this it's super flattering with the floral ruffle right here and right here it just really gives me like curves which I don't really have so I really like it and it's very comfy I feel like it's a good length and I'm really excited about this purchase you know I don't really like to buy from 21 but I feel like it's always at the thrift stores and since it's thrifted it makes me feel less guilty to buy like um, knocked off clothes but this looks really cute and it's giving me, you know, summer vibes. All right, so this little crappy crop sweater situation I also got. Um, this is actually kind of expensive and I'm a little bummed because they left the thingy on and I don't really know how to take these off. Must be removed by store. I don't live there. So like, what do I do? But maybe I'll take it into like a Goodwill and be like, help me. Anyway, so. I just paired it with these cute shoes that I got and I wore all weekend in Dallas and then I also just put on these little mom jeans and a big fluffy coat and I think it's so cute for, you know, just running errands or something like that. I think you could also wear this with like leggings and make it more chill or in the summer, you know, like a jean skirt. I think it's just very versatile because it's like sweater but it's also 
a tank top. So it's like, you know, it's pretty cute. I, I really love how it's tie-dye. I feel like that's everywhere, obviously. Um, everywhere. So I was like, okay, that's a good way to do the trend. And I like how it's kind of a neutral, you know, gradation. So this was a good one. I really like it. All right, so this sweater I got at the half and half in Dallas and I think it's really cute with the gradation it was kind of expensive at 19 but we got it half off so it was 10 um, I think it's just like very cute easy sweater to wear I probably will wear it for like Easter or something like that if it's still cold in Missouri because I will be going home for Easter and um, I just put on my go-to best jeans from Citizens of Humanity I've had these for literally four years probably now and I love them they're so comfy you can do like squats in them so if you're gonna you know invest in some jeans i would do that or a gold day a gold day is made by the same factory that citizens are and they're cheaper anyway then i also just put these cute boots that i love with it too and i just feel like this would be an easy little outfit to throw on to get you know brunch breakfast easter whatever okay so i also got this cute super fun ruffly little button up shirt i think this is great for work i love button-up shirts I feel like I'm always reaching for them um when I was going to the office often and I just think this is a great way to wear it you know a little half Parisian tuck or what's it called a fringe tuck and I just love how it's on the sleeve I just feel like it's a nice shirt and it was ten dollars so I just think this was a good find um and you know I just really like the ruffles and I think it's really cute and I just put it on put it on the same thing um, this is just like an easy outfit, so. Alright, so I got this cute little skirt. Um, unfortunately, it's just a little bit too big. It was $10, um, and I got it at that Buffalo Exchange. But, um, yeah, it's just a little bit too big. I don't know, it's not really me either, and now I'm, like, looking at it. Like, I don't really see myself wearing this, but it's really, really cute. I could see, like, other people wearing it. So, I'm definitely going to post it on my Depop and my Poshmark to sell. Um, and then I just put it with this little jean top I got at half and half a few months back and some you know adidas sneakers I think this would be a good brunch outfit I just don't know if it's for me but it's cute okay I also got this cute little swimming suit this is a nasty gal swimming suit it's just like a little cheetah I really like the small straps I feel like this is something I would buy brand new but luckily I got it for $16 at the um thrift store and I didn't wash it so I have underwear on underneath this but I just tried to like hide it away but it's really cute um and i feel like i really want to go to miami now it's really cute i'm glad i found this cheat delicious all right so this was my last find just this really simple easy workout tanky um it has a built-in bra which is really nice and i like that it's a little bit looser on the bottom so i'm not like squeezed in you know what i mean and then i just been wearing leggings that i had and you know i could wear this with anything so really good find Okay, so it's literally, oh my god, I look so scary. It's a um, Monday night, and I'm editing, and I realized that I forgot to add this as one of the things I bought. So I thought I'd hop on here, show it off. So I got this little Wild Fable Target Collection little collar top. I've seen these colors with so many different sweaters, and I, you know, am loving it. So I thought I needed it. It's a little bit big, but I plan on wearing it with a couple of sweaters. So I'm going to show you the first sweater I would wear. But I'm just wearing these outfits with my thrifted Articles of Society skinnies. And then my go-to Steve Madden booties that also come with a little rhinestone thing. You've probably seen them before in other videos. Wait, guys, I'm so sad. I didn't realize, like, it was going to be sort of a faked out collar. This is sewn down here at the shoulder seam. So I'm going to have to seam rip that and like make a collar. I, <laughs> this is kind of a fail. I paid $15 for this and they knew I would. So just pretend like it lays nicely. I would just wear it with this cute purple H&M button up that I got last year and then make it like more on trend. I'm so sad. <laughs> Happy Monday. Okay. This one is like a little bit better somehow. Um, I got this sweater on super sale at Express and I still have not had a chance to wear it. Um, I totally actually forgot about it in the closet. I love how the puff sleeves are and honestly the puff underneath here gives it extra puff. So I'm just like 
super puff. Um, and then I just think it looks pretty cute. I do definitely want to rip the shoulder seam out, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I was thinking, oh no, I'm never going to be able to wear this, but I think I can get away with it. So yeah, this actually ended up being pretty adorable, right? You better work that no makeup look, girl. Oh, and I did get these earrings, actually. And I totally forgot I bought them until I was watching me edit my um, in-store thing. I also totally forgot that I got this little hat. So, I don't know. I think these were in my actual suitcase and not in the little bag that I threw on as a carry-on. But it's just a little for Love and Lemons. Or Love and Lemon. Lo oh, Love Your le Melon. Love Your Melon hat. Which I feel like was just all over the place in 6th grade or something. The little pom-pom I need to resew on it. But um, super cute. Love the blue pink look. It really goes with my vibes. I'm definitely going to rip this off because I don't really like labels. Um, and yeah. So. Now that's actually the last thing that I bought. On my thrift trip to Dallas. <laughs> that does complete my video. I overall think it was a good thrifting experience. I wish I would have had time to go to like Thrift Giant or like other places that I've seen other YouTubers go to, but we just didn't really have the time and I feel like I found some good items and I honestly probably couldn't have been able to put them back in my bag or anything. So long story short. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel or you are just now watching, make sure you subscribe. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at Mallory Alita. I post outfit of the days and what I'm wearing over the weekend. So I'll just pretty much be here for the next, like, seven days I think I have left of quarantine until I'm allowed to leave and then I'm going to do another thrifting. But next week's video will be my vlog about Dallas and so hopefully things will get on track. I'm having a little bit of technical errors as of lately but hopefully I get things underway. I have a lot of time on my hands now to kind of figure that out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good weekend. Bye!